problem occurs with Drupal's standard file handling whenever the same file is uploaded multiple times. I'll show you an example of this. Let's use public files in our image field. And we'll upload an image. So this is the URL of the image that was uploaded. Let's upload the same image again. And we can see that Drupal has renamed the file so that it doesn't overwrite the first file that was uploaded. So this, this has a few problems. Um, it means that there's wasted storage. Um, if you're uploading very large files, if there are videos, then potentially you could be wasting gigabytes of space. It also means that because the URL is separate for each file, um, browsers won't be able to, to cache the, the file. With storage API, it has uh, a solution to this, so it's, it's called deduplication. Whenever uh, a new file is given to storage API, it examines the file name and a cryptographic hash of the contents of the file. If these match an existing file that storage API already knows about, then that file is assigned the file ID of the existing file. But it still retains a unique storage ID. So let me show you that in action. Let's switch to storage API. And we can add our bunny. With Storage API, it forces download when you view an image like this. So we actually need to examine with Firebug. So we can see the URL here. It's in the Storage API container. Let's upload the same file again. can see that it has the same URL. Let's verify this on the file system. Here are the source files uploaded to the public file system. These are the generated thumbnails of those files. But with storage API, it only has one instance of the source file and one instance of the, of the thumbnail because the two files are actually the same and have the same file name. So just to make sure this is working, let's upload a file which has the same file name but is actually a different image. is not a bunny. And there we can see that the URL, the file name, has been renamed. And we can verify that on disk. So let's delete this one. And with Storage API, it actually deletes in cron. So if we have a look at the file system, the files are still there. But if we run cron,
Omicron, we can see that the file has been deleted. So let's delete one of our, our bunnies. We'll run cron. But the file still exists because it is in use by the other node. If we delete the remaining copy of the bunny, the file has been deleted. A further advantage of the deduplication is that it avoids having to upload the same file multiple times to uh, a cloud service like S3.